we want to evaluate each expression involving inverse sine or arc sine. When evaluating inverse trig functions, the first thing to recognize is that they're giving us the trig function value or the trig ratio, and we're finding the angle that has that trig function value. And also the outputs or range of the functions are restricted to a particular interval. For example, for arc sine or inverse sine, the range or output is restricted to the closed interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two. So for arc sine square root three divided by two, we're looking for an angle theta in this closed interval that has a sine function value or sine ratio of square root three divided by two. For arc sine negative one, we're looking for an angle, and once again in this closed interval, that has a sine function value of negative one. And for arc sine negative one half, we're looking for an angle again in this closed interval that has a sine function value of negative one half. And since I do have other videos that show how to find these angles using reference triangles, in this video, we'll show how to use a unit circle. So if theta has to be in this closed interval, those have the angle theta must terminate in the first or fourth quadrants. So to find arc sine square root three divided by two, because sine theta is equal to y on the unit circle, we're looking for a y coordinate in the first or fourth quadrant of square root three divided by two. And notice here's a y coordinate of square root three divided by two, and therefore the angle that has this sine function value over the range for arc sine would be 60 degrees or a pi over three radians. So arc sine square root three divided by two is equal to pi divided by three radians. If we wanted to check this on the graphing calculator, we would want to check this in degree mode, so let's go ahead and do that. If it was in radian mode, it'd be more difficult to recognize the decimal approximation of pi divided by three. So we'll press the mode key, changes to degree mode, enter, go back to the home screen by pressing second mode, and now for arc sine or inverse sine, we press second sine, and then we have square root three, right arrow, divided by two, close parenthesis, and enter. And notice how this does verify our answer is correct. 60 degrees is equal to pi divided by three radians. Next we have arc sine negative one. So we'll go back to the unit circle and look for a y coordinate of negative one in this closed interval. Notice here is where we have a y coordinate of negative one. And notice how our angle is not going to be three pi divided by two radians because this is not in the closed interval from negative pi over two to positive pi over two. So we have to use the negative angle that's coterminal with this, which would be the angle with the initial side here and terminal side here, which would be negative pi divided by two radians. Or in degrees, that would be negative 90 degrees. Let's go ahead and check this on the calculator. So we'll press second sine for arc sine or inverse sine, negative one, close parenthesis and enter. Notice how this does verify, our answer is correct. Negative 90 degrees equals negative pi over two radians. And now for the last example, we have arc sine negative one half. So again, we're looking for an angle in this closed interval that has a sine function value of negative one half. So on the unit circle, we're looking for a y coordinate of negative one half. Once again, either the first or fourth quadrants. And notice here we have a y coordinate of negative one half. Therefore, the angle terminates at this point on the unit circle. But again, the angle is not going to be 11 pi divided by six radians because it is not in the output of arc sine. So we'll have to use the negative angle that's coterminal with this. So we'd start here, the angle would terminate here. So this would be negative 30 degrees or negative pi over six radians. So arc sine negative one half equals negative pi over six radians. And once again, let's verify this on the calculator. So we'll press second sine negative one half, close parenthesis and enter. Negative three degrees is negative pi over six radians. I hope you found this helpful.